every year they get maybe around 100 applicants and they only choose about like one or two. Okay, hi guys. So today I'm at Katip and I'm going to Rock Ridge Park to go and play some ball. I dropped off at Katip and now I'm like walking over. Uh, it's like a 17 minute walk so it's pretty far from the MRT station. So today I'll be playing with CJ and Sun. Uh, met him through Instagram. Looking forward to play at Rock Ridge Park later on. Yeah, I'll see you guys at the courts. Okay, so now I'm at Rock Ridge Park. You know, really nice park. I think really quiet. Lots of trees, lots of plants. I hear, do hear some basketballs like ongoing. So just trying to find a basketball court right now. Let me just go up this slope. <laughs> just walk towards the sound. Of, oh, okay, I see. I see the court. So now that I see the court, you can see that it's uh, half court. And the rim is slightly slanted downwards. So I'll go check it out and let you guys know how it is. Okay, so now we are at, um, where are we? Rock Ridge Park. Oh, Rock Ridge Park, correct. So we have Caleb, uh, CJ's son. I met CJ over Instagram, so DM him and like, we came down and shoot some hoops together. Caleb is really good. Like you can see, later I'll show some clips of how he played. You can see that he really got some moves at only 12 years old. So maybe Caleb, tell me more about yourself. Uh, I'm from Northland Primary School. Oh, Northland Primary School. I never heard of that school like, before. How long have you been, been playing ball for? P3, yeah. P3, uh. so P3 is like a 9? Nine, 9? Nine? 9, yeah. Started like, during primary 3, like, we had to choose our CCA. My friends asked me asked me to join basketball. Before that, I started playing basketball like for fun. Me and my father would just go down to the court nearby our house. During the CCA, like one day, I just came home with the consent form to join school team. How, how, many, days a, how many days a week do you normally play ball for? I have outside training two times every week. And then I have an uh, upcoming competition. Oh, what competition is this? Uh, the Singapore Premier Basketball League. It's, is it like under 12 or...? Under 12, under 12. Uh, a bit more about you know your, your experience playing for the school team. How far did y'all go? Didn't get past the qualifying. <laughs> no no shame in that. Basketball is a team sport. So uh, you applied for a few schools already for your DSA using yes. basketball. Which schools are, are these schools? NJC, Catholic High and HCI. Ah, okay. All very good schools. Hwachong is really hard to get into. Uh, every year they get maybe around 100 applicants and they only choose about like one or two. Ah. Uh, hopefully I can play maybe in a national team or go for SEA Games. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Look out for Caleb. You know, he's definitely going to be uh, the up and coming. Playing with Caleb really reminded me of the good old days when ball was actually live. Every day, I would go down to the basketball court to shoot and barefooted most of the time. It was like nothing else really mattered but you and the ball every single day. This is CJ. It's really interesting, really nice to have people like you know reaching out to me. I guess that's what Own Your Court really is about, right? Like building communities and connecting with people. So, you know, how did you come across like my, my page? Oh, um, just scrolling on IG. Yeah, we yeah. just scrolled on IG, then it came out on the suggested post. The question I really want to find out is like, what made you want to like, you know, reach out to me and ask me now, come and uh, shoot some hoops okay. together, you know? Uh, actually, it was because on, on the YouTube suggestion, or I saw the video that you came to Yishun, oh, then yeah. you walked... <laughs> oh, he's up. <laughs> You walked around and then uh, all, all the courts were closed. I think I sent you a DM. Uh, I told you that actually there's a lot of courts here. Come down and have a look. He asked me down to kind of visit other courts that he know of. Of course, he lives in the area and have uh, you know me play with his son, Caleb. Caleb is a really great basketball player. You know, I, at 12 years old, def definitely much better than I was when I was 12. So I'm just going to do a quick review on how this court really felt. So this court is located in the middle of Rock Ridge Park. And the first thing you'll notice would be that it is only a half court. So when you take a closer look at the rims, they are slightly slanted downwards. However, it is spring latched, so it kind of gives it a soft bounce when you're shooting your shot here. So the lines on the courts are great. Um, space on the baseline. 
no issue with that as well and there are things all around you know even at the baseline and at the sides as well for you to rest while waiting for the next game however there is no like cage or railing to keep your balls within the area but i guess it's a really good half court found in the middle of a park and if you're looking for something to drink, you can head on to the Wisteria Mall, the nearby mall, which has a 7-Eleven and coffee bin. You can also grab dinner there as well. There's lots of food eateries there. Okay, so uh, this is me. I realized I didn't uh, record an uh, outro for this video. It was really nice, you know, kind of meeting up with Caleb and CJ that day. Hanging out with them, finding out what's their story, and you know, just having a chat, meeting another basketball player in Singapore. You know, uh, I could really tell like you know they 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 were really passionate about passionate about the game. Uh, yeah, I mean if you like what you're watching, uh, if you like my videos, do remember to subscribe. Uh, it helps me a lot, and also remember to share this with your friends. Share this with not just any friend but other basketball players, uh, in Singapore. So I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.